What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm and uh, today we got some material so we are going to get started on this farm upgrade installing the water line to our barn and taking it on down to our hog pen and uh, this coil right here is a 500 foot roll of one inch poly pipe. That is the least amount you can buy in this type of uh, material in our area anyways and uh it's sad to say, but this stuff was the cheapest part of the project. I'll show you guys some of the fittings here in a minute. And just one T fitting was almost as much as this whole thing. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, I'm going to try to get this stuff unloaded real quick. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. And then we'll get to digging. Here is some of the brass compression fittings we're going to be using. Some of the uh, frost free hydrants. Alright guys, I know it's a little dark in here, but we got the material. This is pretty much all the material we're going to need, except for a dump truck load of the pea gravel that is screened from the creek just down here below our property. And uh, if I get time tomorrow after work, I will go get a load. I won't have time today because they are already closed. Um, I think they close at 5 o'clock or something. But anyways, I'm going to try to get as much as the line dug as I can tonight. I'm not going to put the... I don't plan on putting the line in the trench today because I don't have the gravel yet but just a couple of things we got to go over again we got a bunch of these brass compression compression fittings and we'll talk more about that when we actually go to install them uh, two of the frost free hydrants and then of course the 500 foot roll of the poly pipe and uh, this stuff right here was like 400 bucks believe that or not these things has like tripled in price and those have also went up there they're brass so they're super expensive but there is actually only two ways to install this type of pipe i could have went with the pex and it would have been a lot cheaper but this pipe is made to go in the ground where it's a lot rockier and uh stuff like that so it's a lot thicker walled than regular just pex pipe and i don't ever want to have to redig this stuff up so once i put it in the ground it should be good to go uh, once we get our depth and get below our frost line we should have not have any problems in it um, we've used that stuff whenever we ran water out to the goat barn over here in our kiko pygmy pen and to our house and uh, we've never had any issues we've had big uh big utility trucks drive over it on accident when the ditch was still open and that stuff lasted very well and it's made right here uh local to us in prior oklahoma so another uh support your oklahoma businesses type of thing but anyways we'll talk more about that when we start installing it and all that but today our goal is to try to get this ditch started we're going to start digging it so i'm going to grab our gopro i'm going to grab a uh, power aid from the fridge but we're going to get to digging all right guys so if you're new to the channel this is a little series of videos we're going to be doing and i think i'm going to title them farm updates or farm upgrades i haven't decided yet but if you missed out on the last video where we started digging this hole right here, this is the water line we we're coming off of. And we're going to go straight north here. We're going to go straight down this fence line right to the front of that barn on the other fence. And we're going to drop a hydrant there. So I want to give myself enough room from this fence where I can get my other tractor with the box blade on there after I'm done digging and filling everything back in. Or I can run back and forth and clean the line up good. If you dig real close to the fence, you're going to have a problem getting your equipment in there close to it to keep it clean. And you guys can see all these rocks and stuff in here. It, it's, 
it's a mess trying to clean these trenches up when you're done and you backfill them around here because of all the rocks so that's what i'm going to try to dig this thing straight down the middle maybe to the left just a little bit because after this project's done the next one we're going to be starting is running electric from over there to our barn and it is going to go right next to this water line um, there are reasons why i'm not putting the electric line on top of the water line i don't uh, have to follow codes where we're at because we're out in the rural country we don't have any city ordinance codes or any weird stuff like that but if we were to ever sell this house or anything weird someone else lives here in the future and they don't know how i ran that and they say oh we got a water leak we have a water problem and they go to digging that up and for whatever reason they don't check or whatever and they get in that electric line you could potentially kill somebody or seriously injure someone or even if i forget if i get to be old and i'm still living here and i say hey i need to dig that water line up 30 years from now if i forget and i dig it up and i hit that electric line it's just something that i have the backhoe uh we bought this backhoe we have it i don't have to return it tomorrow i'm not in a crunch for time i'm going to try to do this right i'm going to dig the water line and i'm going to dig the electric line i know a lot of people are going to say well you just throw it in the same trench you can you can if you want to but this is not the way i'm going to do it so i'm going to set this camera up set my gopro up and uh get to digging and see how far we can get uh, i got a few hours before dark so uh wish me luck Well, I am about a little further than halfway, and you guys can see how it's going. Just nice and slow. Um, not the perfect straightest line ever, but I keep trying to cheat over towards the fence because I want to leave room for whenever we do the uh, electric line, and I don't want to have to even get close to the water line. And um, there's a lot of rocks, so I'm just trying to take my time, trying to go against this fence and keep the rocks and dirt kind of push back to this side so every once in a while when it starts building up on that side you might see me take the bucket and kind of scoot it back over there i hope you guys uh got to see some of the footage i don't know how well it's recording i had the gopro set up on the uh arm of the backhoe as well and hopefully the angle is okay i haven't checked it but uh i'm gonna get a drink and i'm gonna set up the cameras again and i'm gonna keep going um 
hasn't been too bad. It's just really, really slow digging, guys. Because you come up on rocks like this, and then every once in a while, you'll get a big, huge rock down there. And you don't want to dig up a huge, huge rock, because then you can uh, end up with a huge hole. In the past, when we've had backhoes up here digging, we have dug up rocks just about as big as a four-wheeler. And that leaves a big mess. So if I think I'm going to hit one, or I think I'm hitting one with the teeth on the bucket, what I'll do is I'll just leave it. And if it's just sticking up a little, excuse me, I got a little wasp or something trying to see me. If it's sticking up a couple inches more than what the rest of the ditch is, I'm not really worried about it because it's not a big thing. So uh, I'm going to set this camera up and uh, get busy again. So the whole reason I stopped a while ago, about halfway, is because my fuel light started to come on. So I was uh, going to pull this thing over there and pump some fuel. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. And I'll do it. I'll pull over there and I'll film a little bit to show you guys my pump one more time in case you never caught the last video. Alright guys, so if you're new to the channel, uh, we store our diesel in one of these plastic tanks here. And I've had people in the past criticize me about the static electricity and this and that. And we've been doing this for many years and never had a problem. I'm not saying that it won't ever be a problem, but I've never seen anything uh, online or talked to anyone else that says otherwise. Just a couple people online says it's a problem about storing fuel in uh, plastic tanks rather than metal. I mean, when you go to the store and you buy fuel tanks to go fill up for your lawnmowers and all that, what are they made out of nowadays? Most of them are plastic. I do have a lot of metal ones that are the older style and they work really well. But I don't know if that is a, a fact or not, so I'm not going to say either way. And I store this thing in a little five gallon bucket, so sometimes it kind of gets kinked up, as you can see. And this is the little 12 volt pump that I purchased on Amazon. And uh, we have been really happy with this. Uh, Dutch used it last whenever he uh, rented the skid steer out on his off grid land. He borrowed this tank and went and filled it up and uh, filled up his skid steer that he rented for the weekend and it worked really good for him too. So basically, we'll just drop this in here, hit the button. job done today and I'll have to make a trip to town sometime and get this barrel filled back up so I'm gonna put this up and then we'll get to digging again
Well, we got the ditch dug. I had to back the back up over here and go the opposite direction. And you can see right here, I had to kind of turn a little bit. I had to go at an angle because I couldn't straddle the ditch because I wouldn't be able to get out of there and it would have made a big mess, but you can see there. We got about a 24, 26 inch ditch. The frost line here in Oklahoma is set at 20 inches. So they recommend 24, 26 inches below the ground level is where you want your water pipe. And uh, we should not have any problems at the depth we're at at all because uh, this pipe is really good pipe and it is uh, pretty strong. So hopefully none of these rocks are gonna puncture it. That's why I went ahead and went with the better pipe, the thicker walled stuff, and we should not have to worry about it. And there's only a few places, like I said earlier, uh, you guys can see that right there. It's a big old piece of flint rock. And then there's a huge one right there. My teeth just kept chipping it off. It never would pull nothing out. And I don't want to end up with a big giant hole. So I just kind of left it like it is and I'll just run the water line right over it. It ain't going to be no big deal. And then right here at the end, here's a little skeeter. Right here at the end is where one of our hydrants is going. And then uh, we're going to put a T right here. And then we're going to go straight that way. So I might dig this out a little more tonight right here. And then tomorrow night, if I have time after work to go get some gravel tomorrow. What I'll probably do is I might try to go ahead and tie on this line right here. And then in a couple days, I might dig the rest of it. Or I might just dig the rest of it and do it all at once. I don't know yet. So, uh anyways that's that i'm glad i got this part dug it took a little bit longer than i ha than i had expected because it is rocky and coming through the fence between the fence and the shop that's kind of tricky uh the cleanup part's what's going to take a long time because i still got to go back and backfill all this and try to clean it all up and make it look nice like the yard used to look and uh it's kind of hard to do when you got to work between the fence and the building like that so now I'm thinking I probably should have done my electric line first and brought the water line outside of the pasture and come down. But I've already got it all dug, so I might just spend a little extra money and do the electric line. I might just go out beyond the fence and then come into the other side of this barn. That way I'm away from all the structures and it makes it a little easier to work with and the cleanup will be a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys like this little series of the farm updates that I'm doing. It's going to benefit us greatly. It's going to be a lot easier on us taking care of these animals and everything else. So if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and we'll see you next time.